air track is the WQXP is connecting broadcasting 2.1, 2.2 megahertz. Pictures on radio, 48 lines at 20 frames per second. Can anybody hear me? Can anybody see me? This is W2XB, WGY Television, broadcasting from the city that lights and hauls the world. Can anybody hear me? Can anybody see me? Greetings. On September 11th, 1928, WGY Television in Schenectady, New York, broadcast the first dramatic TV program in history. A blood and thunder play with guns, daggers, poison called the Queen's Messenger. The technology, mechanical television, was primitive. More technicians were required for special effects than there were actors. The screens were impossibly small. The technical difficulties of production and transmission daunting. But the impact of that tiny, halting, flickering image had on the future of communication, art, culture, and technology cannot be exaggerated. A teleplay within a teleplay, a broadcast of a broadcast. This dramatic web series is about the historic moment when art and technology, the scientists and artists mingled and changed the way we communicate for all time. The episodes tell the story of how this broadcast came to be and introduce us to the fascinating characters who made it happen. Rather than filming and editing this production, the plan is to produce and perform each episode live to a streaming audience, similar to how the original broadcast was done. The story includes the history and drama of the show's rehearsal and planning, and an illustration of the technical challenges and history of the times. The web series ends with a live production of the original play, The Queen's Messenger, using a reproduction of the original television studio as it was set up in 1928. My name is Joe Piazzo. I am the writer, producer, and director of this web series. Why should this project be greenlit? Because the story and production circumstances are totally unique. This is our history of our own medium. As filmmakers, it is our legacy, and it must be told and preserved. The team and production methods put in place to produce this live streaming dramatic production will also remain to develop future programming. Nearly 100 years have passed but the industry has found solutions to new problems, often in old ideas. The music industry, for instance, facing the challenges of digital distribution and copying, has begun to put a renewed emphasis on live performance and events. So shouldn't television and movies consider the live drama that great unrecorded moment as a way to address some of the challenges it faces today? So this is it, live from Schenectady, New York, this is broadcast.